thyroid hormones really control and regulate every major function of the body. Okay. So if you have a thyroid problem, you might suffer from a wide range of symptoms from um, insomnia to weight gain, digestive problems, depression, headaches, you name it. Wow. If your thyroid's not working, nothing is working. I actually like to compare it to looking at a, a car where your thyroid gland is sort of like the gas pedal Okay. And thyroid hormones are like the gasoline that make everything work and move forward. So if those hormones aren't working properly, it's like taking your foot off of the gas pedal and everything starts Slows to slow down. down. Doesn't work properly. In the case of uh, thyroid, unfortunately, most people are simply put on the hormones. They're left on them for the rest of their life. And even though most of those people, up to 90%, will continue, continue to struggle with thyroid symptoms, even if their labs end up looking normal, they're kind of left guessing and wondering what to do. Why might someone still have thyroid symptoms if their lab results are coming back somewhat normal? Okay, so let's take a look at this model here. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why this might happen, but I'm gonna focus on one right now, okay. and then I'm gonna go into detail about a lot of these other ones at these upcoming dinner seminars we're gonna be doing. So taking a look at your little thyroid gland right here um, in front of your neck, this gland produces two hormones. One of those is a T3, the other one is called T4. Okay. Now, T3 is the uh, gasoline. That's the active, usable form of hormone. That's uh, like gasoline for your car. So I'm gonna let you actually hold this okay, one right hold here. Okay, I'm gonna this one right here. Okay. Next to the and then the other hormone is T4, and I call this the crude oil. Okay. Now, can your car run off of crude oil? Not before it's, no. Mm -mm, it's not gotta right be out, not pure form, right. converted or mm -hmm. refined, right? So this conversion process actually takes place in the body. Now, some of that conversion will actually take place in the liver, some of that conversion takes place in the gut. Now, in individuals that continue to struggle with thyroid symptoms, this conversion process may actually be broken, and so their body is trying to run off of crude oil. So, Jordan, if you had a thyroid problem, which form would you want me to give you, the crude oil or the gasoline? Gasoline. You got it. Do you want to guess which form most people are given? Crude oil? You got it. Why? Absolutely. Why are we given that if that's not working? Well, th the synthetic form of hormone that's given, uh, Synthroid Levothyroxine, this is T4. It's an inactive form, and doctors expect that your body will be able to convert it properly. But in many individuals, this conversion is broken, and so basically their car is trying to run off of crude oil. Crude oil. Thyroid is so common in our, co really in our community, is. and so many people are struggling and suffering, and they really don't need to be if they could just be properly educated on how to take care of themselves.